Over in South America, Brazil's economy appears to be withstanding the slowdown. Usually oil and gas gets all the attention. Now, cinema is getting the spotlight. Helen Clegg reports from Rio de Janeiro. Final preparations are made to a traditional cinema in the centre of Rio de Janeiro, ahead of the city's annual International Film Festival. But as the country's economy grows, small cinemas like this are dying out in Brazil. Paulo Sergio Almeida is a director of Film B, which monitors the country's cinema market. The cinema in the high street has been abandoned because it no longer is economically viable. You have 20 people that operate the cinema with one screen, and in a multiplex, you have eight people operating 10 screens. According to Film B, there are around two and a half thousand cinemas in Brazil. This is predicted to rise to 4,000 by 2015. As suburban shopping centers spring up to serve an expanding middle class with money to spend, so do multiplex chain cinemas. A trip to the cinema here in Brazil has always traditionally seen to be something for the elite. But with more screens now in more areas and things like half price entry, for many of the population in the new C and D class, cinema has now become accessible. This is interesting because some people have never been to a cinema. Many go to the cinema and ask for one ticket for a man and one for a woman. They're going to the cinema for the very first time. Alexandre Teixeira Faustino lives around 50 minutes outside Rio and is a weekly cinema goer. I'm going more. The cinema is much closer to my house. It's much more convenient. Before it was around 30 kilometers away. Movie attendance here is growing on average 8 to 10 percent per year, and there's room for a lot more growth. Although there is no shortage of screens in big cities like Rio, 93% of municipalities in Brazil still don't have a cinema of their own. Helen Clegg, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.